Hey guys, Adam Francisco here. We are live from Benihana's here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And uh, we got a huge order today. I wanna to show you how much food this family got. Check this out. All right, this is a pretty big order. And in case you guys don't know, Benihana is not the cheapest restaurant. All right, so check this out. All this food, $528 bill. Six. Look at all this food being loaded up, guys. This is a crazy, this is a crazy order. Seven. This is why we go to the gym. This is why we go to the gym, so we can carry heavy shit for our customers. How you doing? So this is what $500 worth of Benihana's looks like. There we go. All right, guys, so we are gonna play a game and the game is gonna be how much do you think these customers are gonna tip? How much will they tip? Now again, I'm just delivering the food. I'm not part of the restaurant. I don't cook the food. Um, but how much do you think they're gonna tip? Let's play a game. So, <laughs> option A, are they gonna tip me $3 or less? Option B, $10 or less. Option C, $20 or less, or option D, $100 or less. You let me know what you guys think, and uh, wait till the end, you'll find out the answer. All right, so the good news is he actually gave me a cash tip. So with this order, there's no waiting until tomorrow to find out the answer. We have the answer right here in my hands. Guy tip ten dollars, which again, let's be honest, ten dollar tip for delivering food, not bad. But given the coronavirus pandemic, given the order of five hundred and fifty dollars almost, um, you know, given the fact that I had to carry all the bags to his house, it would have been nicer to receive at least a twenty five dollar tip for that kind of order, you know. But hey, do what you can and be thankful for what you get. That's it. That's all you can really do. So, thanks for playing. If you got it right. Uh, I will heart your comment below. If you got it wrong, I will heart your comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. If you did not enjoy this video, please subscribe. And of course, be free, my sheeple. Well, there are certain times in life, guys, where you have to admit that you were wrong, and I was wrong. I didn't even think to check the app because usually Postmates takes two to three days to show tips for some reason. But I just checked the app. He didn't tip me ten dollars. Check on my So yeah, I completely <laughs> completely misread that scenario. And uh, the guy basically tipped me $100, which this is by far the largest tip I've ever received. And for those who do Postmates full-time or Uber Eats full-time, you know it typically takes anywhere between eight to 12 deliveries to get even close to $100. So the fact that I made a $100 tip on this one order, um, wow. So for those of you who guessed D, $100 or less, you made it by a few cents. He tipped me like $99.86 or something. That's, wow. My mind is blown and uh, my faith in humanity is slightly restored right now. That was a really generous tip. So if you ever see this, sir, thank you. And, you know, I'm sorry that I didn't check the app. My fault. Um, but really based on my experience using Postmates, I don't usually check for, you know, a few days to see tips and I got it instantaneously here. So that's awesome. And uh, thank you. Now, I will say a few things I did right is I, I kept the customer updated throughout the entire journey. You know, when I got to the restaurant, I said, hey, I'm here. And, um, you know, you have a big order. You have a pretty big order. So, um, you know, we're going to go through all the items one on one because we want one by one. We want to make sure that you get what you ordered. And I think that that one little step that I took could have, you know, been what um, helped earn that tip from him. So always communicate with your customers. And uh, when you drop the food off, always be polite and humble, you know. Thank you for ordering with us. Have a great day, sir. Enjoy your food. Happy Mother's Day. It's what I said yesterday to all my, my customers. So my mind is blown. I got pump faked. And um, 
again, sir, if you ever see this, thank you. And uh, I apologize that I did not check the app first. Wow, what a surprise. Thank you. All right, guys, I just wanted to add one more thought. Um, I just made about $140 on two deliveries, just from the tips. On Uber, someone had sushi, they ordered a pretty big meal, they tipped me 33 bucks, plus the $7, that's 40. And then I just did the Benihana order, I got tipped $92, plus the $7, $99. So, 139 bucks, two trips. Um, the part that I find interesting is that, you know, I'm delivering the food, I'm picking up and I'm dropping off. Do I deserve a tip? Yes. But I find out a lot of times that these customers aren't tipping the restaurants. And I gotta say, as much as I love getting $140 for two deliveries, customers should tip the restaurants too. I mean, they have probably multiple chefs, cashiers, managers. You know, that 140 bucks, if I made 70, I'd have been happy. And if the restaurant made 70, the restaurants made 70, they'd have been happy too. You know, we would have had a lot to go around. So I just want to say, tip your Uber drivers, tip your Postmates drivers, tip your DoorDash drivers, tip tip your Grubhub drivers, tip your Sleepers drivers. But if you're going to tip them, also tip the restaurants. You know, don't just tip the drivers just because we're the last you know thing you see and the tip goes through the app. The tip goes all to us. Restaurants get nothing. So, you know, again, if you're delivering food delivery, I don't know how you can tip the restaurants through the app. I know Seamless Web has a as a feature now where you can tip the restaurants use that if you can. Um, I don't know if Uber does that, Uber Eats, but my point is when there's an opportunity to tip the restaurants, please do it. They need the money too. Um, but of course, if you want to tip the drivers and give me 140 bucks for two deliveries, I'll take it. All right, guys, hope that I uh, hope that's helpful insights for you. And uh, for those that tip big, thank you. I really do appreciate it. And all of us that are out here busting our ass, putting miles on our car, spending so much money on gas, we all appreciate it.